My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting ever. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all sort of opinion banger a new exclusivity you will definitely be notified francis ngano aka the predator has given reasons why he lost to the two-time unified away king of the whole universe Anthony joshua um i have to say despite you know this sounding ridiculous there's some form of truth to it in a way because at this scene gano uh during the arrival at the arena in riyadh it he looked uh, like he was basically yawning in a way though uh but that's not the reason why he lost i don't think even even if he was his, his whole self joshua would have knocked him out cold but let's hear from him and then um proceed not delay in the fight, but um, even um, even leading up to that fight, that fight day, it wasn't my day. It wasn't just my day. Not to say he would have, maybe not to say the result would have been different, but it wasn't my day. Like um, at uh, any moment of the day that I feel like, okay, we are good here to go. You know, I remember being even in the locker, trying to warm up, and then. Bro, he wasn't going. I, I, I was feeling asleep. I told Eric, like, bro, something like I'm feeling asleep. I'm sweating, but I'm feeling asleep. But, you know, I assume that's how some people that. So you heard him saying, listen, he was falling asleep. Um, I think there is some truth to it. If we should look at this clip right here. Ngano arriving at the arena. He arrived before Joshua on that very day. Here's him. <laughs> Look at him already. Is he? Basically yawning, bro. <laughs> so the guy was already tired, but that is not the reason why he lost on Joshua. Let's go on here, Diwali, to break this down. Diwali, Ngano said, "Listen, he wasn't himself." Um, he said, "Listen, not that that would have changed the 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 outcome, but." He just didn't feel himself. He was falling asleep. And he's, he's not lying, you know, in a way. Because at the time he got to Arena, the video proves it. But what do you make of the overall, you know, um, like yeah, I'm comment of, uh, of Ngano? And also, where is uh, Ngano's trainer? Dewey Cooper, right? That's his name, Dewey Cooper. Mm. Yeah. Who was talking the ferocious fish stuff and kind of will go through and to judge one. <laughs> I love you, Vietnamese. Where the hell is that guy, bro? Where, Man, where, where, where that, where that do we Cooper? Where? Talk bro, about those I feel like. Do we keep up? Do we Cooper, in my opinion? I have no criticism for him. He's a gentleman, he's a fighter, and he said the right things. He's supposed to big up his fighter and he's supposed to have confidence in his fighter. But I feel like the confidence that they had team in Ghana going into that fight was false because they because of their performance against Tyson Fury. Fury did not come into that fight against Ngano fully prepared. There was a part of Fury that didn't give Ngano the full respect that he was supposed to. And then he got dropped. Now, AJ, on the other hand, by the way, congratulations to him once again for getting that good knockout, for doing a good job against an MMA fighter, sending him back to where he belongs. Salutes to AJ. 
But at the same time, AJ prepared heavily. AJ prepared for Francis Ngannou like he was going to fight for a world title. And that, that showed in the fight. So Ngannou got coming into, into this arena and yawning could have been for multiple reasons. I mean, they said the fight took place around 4 o'clock in the morning, Saudi Arabia time. So maybe that's contributed to him but as a being fighter, a little aren't, bit fatigued. Aren't you supposed to be gamed on no matter what time you fight? And so this is a, the biggest fight of your life, right? Why aren't you, aren't you supposed to be gamed? I mean, in all fairness, you know, we are human beings. The way the body clock works, it, like you can't fight nature. You know, these guys got into Saudi Arabia, I believe, one or two weeks prior to the fight. And that might have given them enough time to readjust to that time zone. But at the same time, if the main event was going to be held at four o'clock in the morning, then it's a little bit hard to train for that. But at the same time, there is what we call adrenaline rush. So when you're in the ring, you're, you're standing against an opponent and this guy lands a jab on you you know something heavy is coming at you so the adrenaline will kick out the sleep in you and you'll be fully awake so there is no excuses ungano he wasn't fatigued that's not why he got knocked out aj also had to adjust to that time zone so they both had to adjust to that situation all what happened was simple there is a gap in their experience as professional boxers aj has been doing this for like 10 15 years Ongano only started doing this a year ago. So that showed in the final results. Yeah, man. It's quite ridiculous, though, in a way. But as a warrior that you are, like, listen, your trainer talked all the smack in the world, saying, listen, you don't understand how it feels. I know, I think they, Ongano really didn't rate Joshua at all. Because he always thought Joshua is. Is soft in a way, you know, and he also believed in his own chin. The same mistake our brother Jojo has made when he fought Janjali. He fought that the wrong, the right, the hard way. You know, you don't believe on your own chin. You know, yeah, you got a great chin, but you don't believe on it. You know, you don't just you see Ongano. Yeah, bro, Ongano made some rookie mistakes. You know, I mean, you're fighting against a guy as powerful, as tall, as experienced as Joshua, and you switched southpaw. For what reason? Once you switched southpaw, you only lined yourself up for the right hand. And then you could see AJ almost telegraphing that right hand, like pull back counter right, and you still were not able to avoid it. That shows that you're not experienced yourself, or you're just not that good in professional fighting. And that this is a lesson to MMA fighters. Boxing is different. You can't the little boxing that you guys do in MMA. It's not comparable to what professional boxers do. These guys put in one hundred percent of their training into sharpening their boxing tools, but you guys put only five percent of your game plan into boxing, and the other ninety-five percent into grappling, kicking, and all this other stuff, wrestling. You can't compare yourself with a boxer. A boxer will always defeat you in under boxing rules, point blank and period. So I'm happy for Francis and Ganu. Regardless, I'm still a big supporter of Francis. I wish he got a victory. Me personally, I was rooting for him to get the victory, but I knew that his chances were less than twenty percent, maybe fifteen percent. And AJ did what he was supposed to do. So shout out to AJ. Thanks, but I do appreciate your take on this. Guys, you heard it from about our Diwale. Stay tuned for more school banger right You'll be right back. God bless you for the support of the channel. Stay tuned. Yeah.